What is up guys, it is Maxwell back with episode 11 of my push towards Legends League. Today we're starting things off at 4515 trophies. Let's go ahead and crack 4600 for the first time. Because for the first base we actually found my first Legends League player ever that I ever attacked in my Clash of Clans career. And this guy right here was a 48 trophy offer for me and he actually had a hole in the base right there. So I just used one archer to lure out his clan castle which is a golem and a giant. I'm gonna use the poison road right here to kill the giant, so I will only have to worry about the golem. Um, those two troops obviously don't do that much damage, so uh, I'm not too worried right now since I'm only under fire from a mortar, which is not really that bad. So, yeah, with this 48 trophy offer, I was pretty nervous, and obviously, I was hoping to two star it. Also, there, there is some insane loot on this base, so that's a nice side effect. So, even if I should only get one star, uh, I still won't. Uh, walk away too unhappy from this one because I would get some huge loot so let's go ahead and see how things develop my wall breakers actually struck right here perfectly opening up the wall I was only worried about the air defense rally uh, really the damage that is incoming I can take care of that easily so air defense gets a couple of shots actually kills one of my healers but uh, then the queen takes it out so that's pretty nice and now the queen looks like she's moving towards the right hand side but um, uh, I am debating where to drop my troops. Actually, I'm gonna go in with the golem right here and the giant miners behind, uh, and also a few Valkyries to start creating a little bit of the funnel. I'm saving ten Valkyries, um, and also my king. That's the goal. Uh, the goal is to use the hole in that base to um, go towards the core and take care of the town hall. So jump spell is down right now. The miners under rage are taking care of a few of those structures. The king is coming in. The queen is heading towards the core. At this point I was ha having trouble dropping the Valkyries into that hole, but then I finally managed to do it. So um, in the middle, Rage and the heal spell are going down, everything is going crazy. The level 11 walls are trying to hold off my king, but the queen is locked onto the town hall and she is not under fire of any defenses. So this is certainly going to be a 2-star because the town hall is down. The multi-infernos don't do very much damage against me. And uh, I'm even going to wrap this one up early to save some hero health and be ready for the next raid even quicker. Um, and uh, yeah, just taking care of a couple more buildings right here. As soon as my heroes are getting low on health, I'm going to end the raid. And wrap it up for 30 true enormous insane trophies for the first raid. But get ready for the second one because that was pretty good also. And here is the second replay. Only a couple of attacks later. Um, I actually found another Legends League player, placed down the queen right into a Tesla farm, so nice Troy buddy, but I was ready with the queen ability, so uh, not gonna catch me that easily. So this was a 51 trophy offer, so um, uh, I told you I was nervous when I hit the first one, uh, on this one it was, it was even, more, uh, even more insane, so um, yeah, taking care of one of those cannons right there, so I'm not really wor to worry too much about damage on my queen right now. Uh, but she's gonna walk into a range of three point defenses right here pretty shortly with that cannon and those two archer towers so I'm gonna have to use a rage spell right there better get ready with that rage um, so I don't lose my queen because I need a little bit more of a walk rage spell going down right there taking care of the cannon also I'm getting the clan castle lured I'm gonna use the double poison once again to kill the balloon and slow down the golem so I can take care of the archer tower before the golem reaches me balloon is going to die just before it reaches my queen, or actually it's gonna hit it with its splash damage, but yeah, not too bad right there. Golem pops only under fire from one archer tower, so I'm not worried at all. Queen is gonna make her a right, and at this point, I'm once again gonna come in with my main squad right here. Giant is going down, couple Valkyries for funneling purposes. My clan castle deploys, I have some Giants in there this time, no Golem. Um, Valkyries behind, King is also in. And uh, they are gonna go crazy. Actually, the queen, I saved the queen with the Grand Warn. Part of why I activated the Grand Warn so early was to save the queen. Because, um, uh, uh, so in this case, not God save the queen, but Maxwell save the queen. Because um, I wanted to make her survive so she could get towards the coin. Actually, dropped the heal spell right here just on the queen. Because I noticed she was locked into the town hall. And she's gonna take care of that for me. Now she's gonna die, but I'm not worried about that at all because at this point I already have the two star on this massive Legends League player, 
uh, and this huge trophy offer so my troops are just gonna make their way around the base gain some more percentage gain some more loot and make this raid even better than it already is I'm gonna get the full league bonus as well along with a huge amount of trophies so let's get ready to wrap it up right here and take a look at the final tally 34 trophies I still can't believe it and with this one heading back to base we are actually at a personal trophy high 46 14 I've never been this high in trophies so the push is going really well right now I'm pretty hyped as well um, let's go ahead and take a look at the attack log actually so you can see um, we have those two uh, uh, back to back pretty much the other 32 trophy offer then I had a 9 couple in between and another 34 trophy steal so <laughs> insanity um, and I actually can't get I can't wait to get ready for the life attack but first, as you may have noticed, I've been filling up on loot again, so we have to spend some of that good stuff. So we're gonna upgrade a couple more walls right here because it takes some time until my next builder is ready. Let's go ahead and upgrade this wall uh, right here with gold, and then the one next to that with gold as well, and one more wall with elixir. So three walls done today, that's pretty nice. It's 12 million loot into walls. Um, Somehow I'm not having a tough time gaining uh, loot at all, so yeah, let's go to the attack and gain some more. Alright, so this was supposed to be the life attack guys, but my recording got messed up once again. I'm really, uh, really, um, yeah, frustrated with my QuickTime slash MacBook right now, so um, I went in with the uh, right side right here because near the clan castle where the other possible spot would have been, um, there was lots of damage incoming with those uh, expos and the cannons, so... That's why I decided to go in through the right side right here. Queen is going to take care of a few defenses. The enemy king um, rage spell is going to be needed because there is a lot of damage incoming. Once again, three point defenses. Wall breakers are going to break. That level uh, 11, level 10 wall, excuse me, so that's very nice. Level 9 wall actually it is. Only two wall breakers needed for level 9 wall. And then the king and golem and valkyries and warden are coming in. I'm gonna use the warden ability pretty early here again because there is a lot of damage incoming, obviously very bunched up damage, so yeah, miners coming in towards the bottom to clear a few structures and then everything is raged up in the core, healed up in the core, um, also another rage spell going down and the jump spell to let the Valkyries out of the core, actually that jump probably would have been better around here to allow all those troops to move out of the core, but anyways, the king is gonna have to use uh, his ability pretty soon, pretty soon, and bust through this wall right here to get a few more percentage points and also that elixir storage. And yeah, after that, it's pretty much only cleaning up a few more buildings. So not too exciting right here. Got the two star. This was a 16 cup offer, so we're gonna walk away with 11, which is pretty nice. I'm happy with that. And yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for the raiding for today. Um, let's head back to base and see where we ended up. Once the Grand Warren has taken a couple more shots at this Dark Elixir storage right here. Um, we are heading back to base. And we're going to see that we uh, resigned things. And ended up at 4625 trophies, which is a personal trophy higher. So I had a very, very nice day of raiding. Got some really good raids in. And uh, yeah, it's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I will see you all later. Peace out.